Hi, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Rampant MVP. We're Sean and Steph, the owners and operators of Rampant Design, and we're starting this series to show you the what, where, why, and how you should be using effects in your video productions. Sean and I have been talking a lot lately about the emails that we receive, and we get questions all the time like, how do I use your effects? When do I use them? Why do I use them? And we want to help you out. We've got tons and tons of tutorials online and even a lot of text on our website, but you know what? Sometimes that's overwhelming for anyone, including people who use our stuff every day. So we decided to jump on camera here and just talk about the effects, not only just how to use them, it's not a tutorial, but why and when you should be using these effects in your particular video production. And Rampant MVP was born. So we're, our goal is to go through all the Rampant effects. We want to go through the style kits, the title kits, and show you the purpose on how to use these and why to use these in your video production. Today, we're talking about our animated mats. Let's start with the what. What are animated mats? Mats are simply animated shapes or cutouts designed to push video right through them. As simple as a split screen or multi-screen effect all the way to the craziest glitch mats. These are animations designed to add spice to your video productions. Okay, awesome to know what a mat is, but how do you use mats? Well, mats are used differently depending on the editing software that you're using. So let's check out how to use them in Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Avid, and DaVinci Resolve. In Premiere Pro, you will use a track mat. Simply add the track mat to your video clip, and then tell the track mat which layer your mat is sitting on, and boom, there's your mat. In Final Cut, add the mat above your video, head over to the inspector, and change the limo to stencil alpha. And again, there's that awesome mat. In Avid, add the mat to a second layer. Open your effects panel, click on the key, drag the matte key to your mat, then invert the key in your effects panel. Finishing up with Resolve, add the video layer to your timeline, click on the Fusion module at the bottom of Resolve, enter the node base Fusion panel, open your media pool, drag and drop your matte into Fusion and create another node, disconnect main video clip from your media out, add a channel booleans node, connect your video layer and matte layer to your booleans layer, Set parameters of node to multiply, connect your Boolean nodes to media out, and there you go. There's your mat. If you want to see any of these as detailed tutorials, just check out the links in the description. They're right down all there. there. All down there. <laughs> now that we know the what and the how, let's talk about the why. Why would you need to use an animated mat in your video production? Well, if you want to have multiple videos on one screen or you want to add style to a traditionally uninteresting or boring piece of footage. Or if you want to add a color effect or add another effect like blurs, glows, or color backgrounds. Pretty cool, right? Now we come to the when. When do you use mats? Well, you can use a mat to change up the style or pace of your video. You can creatively show multiple scenes at one time. And like all other rampant effects, this is a spice. So whenever you need a little extra flair in your video, you can use an animated mat. Just remember, it's not difficult to add effects to your video. It's just a spice. And that's it for this episode of Rampant MVP, the what, when, why, and how you should use Rampant Effects in your next video production. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you don't already have our world famous mats, go ahead and check the links below and also use coupon code Rampant MVP to take 50% off. Until next time, we're Sean and Steph from Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye.